imagine you're a doctor. And imagine that two identical people show up to you with a broken leg. And you ask them, uh, how well do you deal with pain? And one of them says, I have no problem. And one of them says, oh, I really hate pain. Should you operate on them differently? The answer is no. The answer is you should give one person less painkiller and the other person more painkiller. Now imagine two people come to you exactly the same situation, the same wealth, the same income, and so on. And one of them says, oh, I really don't like risk. And one of them says, oh, I really like risk. Should you tell the first one, person you should be poor and the second person you should be wealthy? The answer is no. The answer is that maybe you should give the, the, the first person <laughs> Xanax or uh, teach them meditation or do something. I think that risk attitude should be an output variable and not an input variable. You as my financial advisor should look at my financial situation and you should tell me what my risk attitude should be. You shouldn't change my portfolio to fit my feelings. Like we talked about when are feelings doing a bad job. I think with money, there's objective wealth. Somebody's going to retire. Somebody uh, needs... I have, I have a really important thing to say here because this has been on my mind for 30 years. You should tell like the uh, CFP board or SEMA or, or CFA board. I remember taking an ethics question on this. If you had to reach someone's retirement goals, do you give them more risk or do you put, do you match the risk to their desired risk level? And I'm like, if they say their desired risk level is I want to be all in treasuries, but I know they're going to run out of money. I know that a greater risk is not their psychological safety is them being homeless and being broke. <laughs> so I always thought like, wait a second, don't I need to educate them to be able to cover their blind spots and the risk? That's what a financial doctor should be doing. That's and right. that wasn't the answer in the ethical <laughs> exam. I was like, what? I mean, how could I solve a problem then? That means that I know how to solve your leg problem if I'm a doctor, but I'm not allowed to perform the surgery because you said I only want a Band-Aid. Like, <laughs> that's right. what? That's how, right. do you, how do you, how can you help? I mean, that's okay. insane. Yeah. So I, I think that's something that the, the industry is getting wrong. The, the, and, um, the, the, we can, we, there's so many things that, that point yeah. to this point. We don't have to belabor it. But I think that, I think it's important to realize that um, a risk, eventually people need money to retire. And yeah. financial advisors need to worry about the money and they don't need to worry about the feelings.